Welcome to our lecture, the province of Ontario. Facts about Ontario. Ontario holds nearly 40% of the population of Canada, more than 12 million people. Ontario is Canada's second largest province, covering more than 1 million square kilometers, an area larger than France and Spain combined. Home to 250,000 lakes, which make up about one fifth of the world's fresh water. The job market. Ontario is the center of the Canadian economy, with many industries. The province is rich with hydroelectric power, thanks to the Ni Niagara Falls. About 100 million of tourists visit Ontario every year. Toronto is Canada's largest city and the capital city of Ontario. Ottawa is the political capital city of Canada. Main industries in Ontario. The automobile industry, mining, farm products, chemicals, electronic equipment, food and beverage products, forestry, hunting, fishing, aerospace, biomedical and biotechnology, financial services, information and communication technology, and design. The major cities in Ontario are Toronto, Ottawa, Mississauga, Brampton, Harlington, London, Markham, Kitchener and Windsor. As you can see the largest is Toronto with over almost 30 million people. And now Let's take a look at the recommended online resources. Now we are in the website of the Government of Ontario with the jobs and employment information. So here you find the link with information about finding a job, posting a job if, if you are an employer, and resources for job seekers, employment in Ontario, you can take a career quiz, government jobs if you're living in Canada, Ontario skill passport, labor market information, and how to work in your professional trade. And more information for employers and people that are looking for apprenticeship. So all the information related to employment and employment standards are in this website. The link will be included in the lecture. Another important page that we can check as well is once you're working in Canada as a foreign worker in Ontario, you can check which programs at the provincial level you can apply for foreign workers. And when you have employer job offer category, you can get foreign worker stream or in demand skill stream. If you're also studying in Canada, in Ontario, you can double, double check options for master graduate stream or PhD stream. Press entry through Ontario is also another choice in the human capital priorities, skill trade stream, and of course if you speak French, there's another choice for you as well. And then you have also other categories for business, for the corporate stream and entrepreneur stream. And here the pages give you all the information or the link and basically this is just part of the provincial nominee program for Ontario. In the in this side you can check more information, document checklists, and information about the laws and the act and regulations. So it's interesting to to learn about this Ontario immigrant nominee program when it comes to foreign workers. Another place you can check as well is the career edge that can help you for job seekers if you're in Canada in Ontario you can check a lot of internships or information for job posting a 
at which you can apply and events that can help you during the process of getting a job in Ontario. So Job Seekers Career Edge and it's founded by the Employment Ontario. So in an interesting website, you have the job board, information for job seekers, information for employers, they have a blog, and the f uh, questions that people normally ask, you can find it there. Right now, they have 214 job postings, but of course you can search based on your category or the industry. And you can register in the job as a job seeker, okay? So, all the important thing is, of course, you have the choice for the best employers, and because Ontario is a big uh, province, you're going to have several pages. The first one will be for the Greater Toronto Stop Employers in 2019. And again, we go down to the list. And this is the list of all the employers in Toronto. Again, there's a lot of competition since Toronto is very popular among immigrants. But if you have any connections or people that can help you, well, going through these choices might help you choose uh, the right employer. So here are the list of all the employers that you can check the best employers in Toronto. Also, if you are the university level, you can check Waterloo area. And here are the top employers of Waterloo, especially more focused on technology and development. So here you have the best employers in the area. And of course, you can check the list, especially if you're gonna plan to study in Waterloo or nearby then you can check all these choices after graduation. So you can uh, secure an opportunity and stay in Canada through these good employers. Another choice is the National Capital Region, probably for Ottawa, when you have the top employers as well. And here you have all the employers based in Ottawa and the Capital Region. And here are the list universities, banks, government, mostly government agencies, so hospitals. So here the list, and it's good to know, you can check this link as well in the research page. And of course, we have Harmington and Niagara area, and the top employers for that area, if you check the list, are right here. A smaller list, but very significant from IKEA, Thomas Master University, Niagara Casinos, Niagara Health, the Niagara area, Tim Hortons, and so you have a lot of employers that you can explore if you're planning to be around the area of Niagara. And if you get the job already, you can check then. The settlement.org is a very good website for settlement with a lot of information for people that have secured a job and, want, and arriving to Canada, then, well, this is the, the place to go. When you can learn a lot of information about how to settle in Canada, the benefits, different topics that can help you make uh, the right choice when you settle in, in Ontario. All right? So I hope you like this lecture, and I hope you explore all these choices. I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much.